Is it possible to build an entire website armed with nothing but a logo? Let's find out. I recently heard of a tool called Pablo.Design, which apparently allows you to build an entire website just from a logo. Is it possible? Not sure. We're going to try it out right now because we've been building a brand for a punk rock bakery. That's kind of fun, interesting, grungy. We built merch and we have this real basic pink logo. Let's see what it can actually do with it. So I'm going to open up Pablo.Design. We're at Pablo.Design slash experiment 01. I'm going to find my transparent PNG, upload it, and immediately it identifies the accent colors. It allows us to shop around a little bit and choose what we'd like that accent color to be why don't we go with this lighter pink color so and now we can update the prompt i need a website for a web service uh, that does something sells baked goods to punk rockers great let's press next with a let's say illustrative design and persuasive copy create your site and pablo.design is going to go about creating it right now Okay, just like that, Pablo.Design has created our website based off of our logo and the prompt that we gave it. And it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. Um, it has, you know, big headline button styles. We can go back in here and update the prompt, but you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner, we can hit this big customize button to go a little bit deeper. Why don't we do that right now? Customization in Pablo.Design looks like dialing up and down the settings on the left-hand side in the style pack. We can re-upload our logo. We can choose things like accent, base, patterns, gradients, and noise. So if I want to change the accent color to be lighter or darker, I can also dial that up or down however I'd like. We can change the base, make it a little bit more punk rock, darker, more interesting. We can increase or decrease the amount of noise inside or change where the gradient resides on our site. Let's put it asymmetrical on the right. And let's get rid of this dot or grid pattern and just make it a little bit more blank. We can then go in and change things like typography. Do we want futuristic options, elegant options, impactful options? And then from there, we can actually select a bunch of different options inside. Let's go with Archivo, and then we'll take the scale, and like any good punk rock poster, we're gonna make it really, really big like that. Then we can change our button styles to match however we'd like it to be, a little bit more 3D with an accent, and let's make it with straight corners and our card style, which you can see further on down the page, like these cards, we can change the style for those as well. Let's keep those a little bit more on the cartoony side and flat, a little bit more on the boxy side of things, and then we can add Add animation to the whole thing. So when things load, they're loading with that slight bit of animation. That is kind of interesting. Now from here, we can go into the right-hand panel. We can customize all the content for our company. So we can grab on elements and simply type away. We can grab buttons here, change the text, or select the entire button and lead that to a specific link, whether or not we want it to open in a new tab. Where it gets really interesting is when we roll down and we click on an image, we can upload an image here, maybe one that we have from our brand elements and bring that in. And then we can actually scale those things up and down, position them around wherever we'd like them. You can even frame them in devices if you want. For us, that doesn't make sense. But then we can go ahead and restyle certain things. That would be to change the background a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. You can also click into these restyle areas and get more options. A really quick way for AI to sort of riff for you on the fly. Then we can go back down and you can see we can navigate around uh, a little bit on the different sections here. So if I'm on the hero section, I click on that section, I can actually give me some variations and some changes from dark to light. Maybe we want this section to be dark, we like that a lot, but we want our testimonials to be on the lighter side of things, maybe a little bit more like a gray so those cards pop off the background. That's pretty good customization. We could change each of these individual elements and then we are basically ready to publish our site and that is as simple is coming up to the top right and hitting that button. Now, where does Pablo.Design fit in the landscape of web design, web development, no code, and AI tools? I definitely think it lives on the entry level side of things. This might be a good fit for a business who's opening really new, local, maybe online, that just needs a landing page. They don't have any time, no technical know-how. They don't care about customization. They don't need more pages or complexity. They just need something up right now, and they're not really worried about 
putting all of those custom design assets in place. This could be a great fit for somebody like that. But what about you? What are your thoughts on Pablo.design? Is it interesting to you? Would you use it for a project? Let me know down in the comments and make sure you check the description for some helpful links. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more videos like this one come out. We'll see you in the next one.